Hey everyone, how are we all doing? Happy Saturday. I did that vlog the other day. Uh, Oda Putin and a little bit of history with Quebec and stuff like that. And I had so many great responses to it and everyone was so nice. But I had so many questions. Well, what else is Canadian? So today I thought I would just really, really quickly do one of the most iconic Canadian things that a lot of people have heard about but don't know what it is. And that is our good old, there we go, Tim Hortons. This is a Canadian version of Dunkin' Donuts if you want to call it, but so much better. Uh, <laughs> Tim Hortons is one of those things that if you grew up playing hockey, you you went to Tim's before the game, you went to Tim's after the game. If you played soccer, there was a good chance Tim Hortons sponsored you. Um, but it was part of growing up. And from things what they call Timbits, which are just little donut holes, to regular donuts, which I have some here, which we'll show you. Uh, to their hot chocolate, and of course, the coffee. The coffee is just what makes them them. Mm, it's rich and smooth, and just like so many other Canadians, you go, you don't ask for coffee with cream and sugar, you just go, give me a double-double. Simple as that, and they'll know exactly what you want. <laughs> It, like I say, it's one of those iconic Canadian things. For many people coming to Canada, whether it's on vacation, whether they're moving here or immigrating here, other than customs, <laughs> Tim Hortons, a lot of the times, is the first thing they see when they get off the airplane or when they step out of the airport. Because in Canada, there are more, there are there's just as many Tim Hortons as there are McDonald's. So you can't really go or look anywhere or be that far from a Tim's, which is great. And what's even better is most of them are open 24 hours a day, so you can always get your donut or coffee fix. Their donuts, I just got a six pack. With everything going on right now, they don't have obviously their full selection of donuts or their full menu, uh, just because it's it would go to waste, and you don't want good donuts to go to waste, so. What I did is I got, whoops, I'm bringing it over, it, it sort of bounced around a bit, I'm trying to hold this up for everybody, but we got six of the most iconic ones. So we have an apple fritter, and then just next to that you've got just a maple glaze and a maple cream. On the bottom you've got a chocolate glaze, a chocolate cream, and then you have the toasted coconut. The toasted coconut is one people either love or hate, but to give you an idea of how many people actually do love it, when Tim's took that off their selection, there was a write-in campaign and a boycott from Tim's until they brought that back. It was off the menu, it was off their rotation or off their donut list for maybe a month before they had to give in and break down and bring it back. But these are, I, they're, if you want to say they're signature donuts, they're classics. They're ones you know you're always going to get and are always going to be so good. And this is torture because I'm sitting here with six donuts. And I'd love to eat them all, except I don't need to eat them all. Like, I'm, I've, got enough as, I've got enough of a spare tire as it is. But they're just great donuts. They're something everyone has to try at least once. Match that up with a Tim's. If you're not a coffee person, there's hot chocolate. There's tons of different teas. You can get um, a, an English caramel hot chocolate, which is so good. They've got a lot of choices. And you can get sandwiches and soups. You can go there for breakfast and get great sandwiches. I've, I've, put, I've taken some pictures. We'll stick them in along with some pitch, nice pictures of this. I will show you what a Tim's looks like from the outside. I tried to record when I was inside, but 
unbeknownst to me, there was a hockey tournament going on at the local arena. And this place being the closest Tim's was a zoo. <laughs> I, I waited 25 minutes just to get into Tim's. And then probably another 15 minutes to get uh, to be able to order my coffee and these donuts and the breakfast sandwich. So it it's one of those things. Tim's is always nuts. And the lineups now, because everyone has to wear a mask and everyone has to sanitize, just sort of add some line. But you know what? It doesn't matter because you know when it's your turn, you're getting great stuff like this. So like I said, I'm going to throw in the pictures and everything. And I just want to share with everyone another little taste of Canada. A little mini vlog, a little mini something, but something that makes all Canadians smile and anyone who comes and tries tries this makes them smile too like they say it just makes you feel Canadian so till next time like I said we're gonna do more of these vlogs we're gonna do more of these uh, tastings we're gonna do more we're gonna do all kinds of things Canadian just so you get an idea of what makes me me so until next time, guys, thanks for checking out this little mini vlog. My name is Andrew. I am the 5 p.m. chef. I hope to see you all again either on a vlog, one of our game nights, or, of course, in my normal cooking videos. We will see you then. And in case you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. It's free. It makes you feel good. And it helps me a lot. So we'll see you all next time. Bye for now.